All right, hi. How's everyone doing? Woo, look at this. I got a little, I can, but I got to go over there and do it. Okay. Yeah, of course. Um, welcome. If I get really close to start going, whoa. Come on, where are you? All right. It's a pointer today. Flight for sight. Next. Oh, wait, do I have a clicker? Or are you my clicker? I'm your clicker. Is that going to work? Okay. What am I doing here? Um. <laughs> Whoa. Okay. Yeah, I've been uh, traveling a lot. A little bit. Uh, we won 54 day stretch from February 1st until end of March. I did 24 flights, so you can see that last flight, Atlanta, the MSN. And since then, up until a few days ago, I came back from DC with my last location. How did I get here? So three years ago, this month, I attended Social Media Breakfast Madison for the first time. And uh, delicious scones, what else is going there? Sticks on a fruit? Good stuff. And I uh, remember sitting next down, sitting next, sitting, sitting down next to Megan, who had this loud clicking Blackberry. And that was one of the first times I used a hashtag. And uh, so all my social media interests combined with um, uh, my love of traveling and then uh, Joe Bates, who's in the room somewhere, introduced me to a flight attendant about a year ago. And uh, we started dating, you know, that ran its natural course and broke up and all that. But uh, she forgot that I was still on her flight pass. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, and uh, I started traveling a little bit last year, taking advantage of that, just kind of zooming in around the country. Uh, I got, had the chance to go back to Colorado Bunch, where I spent a good portion of my life. Um, and uh, so, next slide. And so, I, w I had this flight pass for, uh, since last year, but recently, in January, my friend was like, well, you have like two months left. I want to give it to someone else. That's what happens when you date outside of the, country, the company. Um, and uh, so she gave me two months, and I was like, social media, flight, uh, sight, losing sight. Um, I should do something with that. And I just kind of mushed it all together. And I had a meeting with Ellie Humphrey, who is not here. And I was telling her about the idea. She's like, oh, you need a website. And I was like, I don't know anything about websites, WordPress, blogging. It's, it's not something I do. I, that's like takes time. Tweeting, good. Um, she's like, uh, she set that up for me and then immediately I, I called Melissa. Um, the same day, Melissa, I, I asked her, I need a logo. Melissa is our design girl and uh, the same day she gave me a logo that evening. And so thank you so much for those two for helping me get things started. Um, next slide, please. And then this is my friend, Catherine. Uh, she's another person that helped me launch this. She uh, gave me the name. She helped with the name. Um, I was thinking about Mike seeing. I was trying to be really creative, and then she just came up with Flight for Sight. And so we'll see Catherine later. And so um, everything was, came super fast. It was the end of January, and uh, like one week I was telling Catherine about it and talking to Ellie, and within a few days, uh, I launched. I was like, all right, I'm really, I think I'm good at Facebook, so I'll launch there and see what happens. And so, whoosh, off I launched and I posted this picture. This is what Melissa made for me in a day. Um, uh, let's see. So I just, I posted that. I put that on my Facebook, my personal Facebook page. Um, let's maybe email a few people. And it just kind of took off. I put a little bit of money into it, a little, little bit of boost as well. Um, you can see 15,000 people 
Um, really, everything comes down to shares. When all your friends are sharing it, a lot of people in this room shared it for me. They saw it, they clicked share. It was fabulous. And we have all the comments. And all that keeps things going. The more that something gets commented on, liked, is the more it shows up in people's news feeds. Um, so that's quite a, it's a brand new Facebook page and 15,000 people. So I thought it was pretty, pretty cool. Um, next slide. And so just like that, within, I launched maybe the mor one morning and then ne the next night the news was in my room, uh, or my, my condo. And uh, that, there's Kristen from NBC15. Um, they interviewed me for like an hour and it ended up taking like two minutes. Um, taking two minutes of it. That's, that's how it works. Uh, so that was an interesting experience. I was very nervous the whole time, but you know, really you don't need to be nervous because they'll take what they want, really. And you know, it was, it was an interesting experience. And the only reason I even watched myself later that night is because I was going to time a post on the news I announced I was going to go to. Uh, uh, I got this idea from Julie, who's here in the room. She said, go to uh, see Groundhog Day. I was like, all right, that sounds interesting. My brother's like, yeah, you, your vision is as good as a rodent. Um, and so yeah, that was funny. Um, and uh, so after I, I saw myself on the news, which was creepy, and uh, I immediately posted, OK, I'm going to Groundhog Day. you know." Um, and I made the announcement on the news. And so next slide. Um, so yeah, this is uh, a little off. What are you doing? Whoa. Yeah, so this is the sea in uh, the Atlantic. When I was going over, I took a picture. Then it got a little greener. Uh, uh, so this is uh, this. These are all, this is everything I tried to pack. I'm going off a little. All right, skipping a little bit. This is everything I, I packed. Um, yeah. Next. And so this is something. From this is the OK Cupid date. These two people went on a three-month first date, and this is all they took. So, what I'm trying to teach you, me and myself and everyone, the less you pack, I think, the better. This is uh, if you want to find this link, uh, ask me later. I'll shoot it to you. But yeah, the, go to the next slide, please. Okay. All right. Most of my slides are in order. Um, okay, so I launched, but then I launched and I was like, I don't want to go to Patuxni. I don't know how to get there. It was the night before. And I was talking to my friend and I was like, I don't want to go. Why am I not going, attempting to go to the Super Bowl? I used to work for the Broncos. And so I was like, well, this is crowdsourced. And my friends are telling me to go to the Super Bowl. I'm going to the Super Bowl. Um, so I called an Audible. I posted Audible on Facebook. I was like, oh, that works. Because once you post something, you commit to it. And I was like, okay, Audible. So. I use that term, audible, for those that don't know, is changing the play. Um, and so off I went. And I went, so the results of the Super Bowl, I went to the Super, I didn't go to the Super Bowl because the cheap stick was 1800 bucks, didn't make it, but still had a good time there. So this is a picture of the plane going from New York to LA, first uh, flight, I just thought it was cool. I headed my way towards New Zealand um, that was the uh, most uh, recommended place, suggested place, most liked place on my page to head towards. And so it went a little bit east and all went west. Next. So crowdsourcing my adventure. So I got to New Zealand, super tired. Whoa. What's going on? Oh, yeah. Uh, OK. Where are you? All right, thank you. Uh, so, <laughs> these lights are just wonderful. Um, so, crowdsourcing my adventure, crowdsourcing everything. Everything, um, so my, mis my uh, mission, I should probably talk about that for a second. So, I have a, a condition called Usher syndrome, and uh, that is a retinitis pigmentosa combined with a hearing loss. And the retinitis pigmentosa is progressive. Um, lights are super sensitive to me, but I will suffer. And uh, at night, everything's darker. And this is a progressive thing. My brother and I share it's a genetic disease. It's a disease in the eye. And the retina is just slowly, it's not taking in light and as well. 
as it does for normal eyes. And so I wanted to raise awareness for that. And, the re and through crowdsourcing, um, that get, got other people involved, talking, oh, there's this guy who's traveling around the world, he's talking about vision issues and so forth. So, sorry I didn't mention that before. It's kind of the whole point. Um, and uh, so crowdsourcing my adventure. I got to New Zealand, it was really late, I, really late at night. I was exhausted, probably 10 o'clock. But I knew it was like 9 o'clock in America. And so I had to post this thing uh, on Facebook. And so what I did here, what I want to point out here, um, after I posted 10 different activities, uh, this is 10 different activities, and these are the top three. And uh, I said, like it and tell me what to do. And what I want to point out here is that I tagged this company up top, shot over Canyon Swing um, that night before. And what happened was that company saw this and they saw all these likes, and they really, you know, that's publicity for them. And so by the time I got there, they knew all about me, they knew I was coming, and that started that uh, communication with the company, like, oh, there's this guy, he's doing this mission, uh, raising awareness for vision issues. And uh, so, and then what happened was, so, next slide. Let's go. Um, so, let's see, this, just play this. That's good, because I screamed. <laughs> Just kidding. Um, so this was the number one thing, and uh, this was the second time I did this. And I wasn't really too sure about doing it a second time, but I remember after the first time, I was like, OK, social media would really like me to do this, so I'm going to do this again. And uh, so I made the best of it. And you could take little props down, and uh, you basically jump off a cliff. And I took a bike. And uh, yeah, so, and so I'm talking about connecting the company. So Shot Over saw this, Shot Over Canyon, and they gave me uh, the second swing for free. They gave me this video, and they gave me the pictures. They wanted to help out. Uh, if anything, if this trip has taught me anything, it's, it's how amazing humanity is. And so let's try and let's fast forward. A little more. So, so this, I'm on a bike, you know, they're like, oh, just go, or they, they uh, yeah. Okay, yeah, they're, they're showing off, you know, this is, it's really great, I recommend it. Not really. Um, next slide. Uh, paragliding was the scariest, even scarier than that. Thank you, next slide. This is Cambodia, and uh, I never take pictures of food, but let me tell you, uh, there's a reason I took a picture of food. That other picture is the view from where I was eating, and this, next slide, um, this came, I found this place to stay in Cambodia on Airbnb, and uh, Airbnb is a great uh, web app, a web app, uh, website, amazing. It, uh, it's a place that, it's a company where you can rent rooms out in uh, homes. People uh, offer their rooms. And so it's a great alternative to hotels, which get expensive. And so, and it was another way for me to uh, reach out to people, tell them about my mission and what I was doing, and uh, talk to them about vision issues and so forth. And that is not a typo. Even though I was up late at night last night doing this, not a typo, because when you post, when you send a message to someone on Airbnb, and it's really annoying, you cannot put websites. And so I wanted to always, whenever I was looking for a place, I was like, hey, check out my book face page, Flight for Sight. That way I was able to get them to see my page so they can see what I'm doing. And I use that to negotiate. It's all about negotiating. So when you're last minute traveling around the world, and they, they want people in their place to make some money. And so I was always trying to get the price, the lowest price possible. Um, that's what you do, negotiate. Um, so community, and like I said, it's about, I'm sharing my mission with people. I'm, even if they don't let me stay at their place, they at least read the message and go, oh, what's this Facebook page about? Oh, very interesting. And I can't help you out, but I, re I really wish you luck. And maybe some of them, you know, people will follow me even if I never meet them. Uh, it's one way to get followers. And 
next, next slide. And Hotel Tonight is another one. Uh, it's a great app that's kind of newer. It's, it's an algorithm. Uh, hotels, this is for checking uh, out a place the day of when you show up. So this was last night, actually. I screenshot this. Even last night, you could get a deal to stay at a place for 69 bucks. So wherever you show, show up, um, you can download Hotel Tonight on your phone and just see the best deals around real fast, real easy web app to use. I only used this once, thank goodness. Um, last minute, I had to do it. Uh, let's see, next slide. All right, so from Cambodia, well, can, this is Cambodia. This is Angkor Wat. This is one of the most popular things that was suggested. All these comments about going to Angkor Wat. Um, I really didn't know what it was, but here, this is what it is. Beautiful. I mean, it's just serene. I don't see any tourists in this picture. We gotta work on this. That's a lot of tourists. So I thought I took the beautiful picture, and then, you know, at one point I turned around and took, I thought that was an interesting contrast. All right, so another thing crowdsourcing. I, I was trying to get the audience involved. I crowdsourced my pants. Um, and, and the thing I was doing was I was posting in comments, you know, middle, left, right, and had people vote. And I felt that worked pretty well. So um, one thing when you crowdsource your pants on Facebook, because you do this often, right? Um, be, be sure to be able to go back to the place and buy them. So I took the picture, and this happened. I got all the results maybe a day later, and I couldn't find my way back to get these particular pants. But I got some similar ones. This is Thailand. Um, yeah, next. Uh, so then from there I went to Dubai, and I started to play around with my cane. And I was like, well, this cane's going to be with me the whole time. I might as well have fun with it. And uh, so I came up with this picture, a very popular picture. Lots of likes, 150, for anyone that's counting. Um, I just enjoyed it. And so I went to Dubai because of simply of this comment. Um, and I, I asked him the other day, and he said it was either my sister or brother-in-law that forwarded my page to him. It's as simple as that, a share, and all of a sudden, I'm going to a new continent because of that. Um, one thing I want to point out, because of social media, there is no campaign. I'm not probably, I, I'm, I don't think I'm going around the world. I'm not making a big issue of it. And uh, thanks to social media and being, having this platform, I'm able to do this. Um, so, next slide. And so, my experience real quick in Ethiopia, uh, I was able to go to a bunch of charities, and this is the, the school I went to, and a couple of fascinating facts was like, there's like 300 blind kids and hardly any of them had canes, and I'm demonstrating here the cane that they did have, it was short and it was wooden, and I was like, well, I often need a cane for my head too. I'm always, my peripheral vision is just, ooh. so that's me trying to be funny. No. So, let's see, and then the other picture was the computers. And uh, this is another picture in Ethiopia that stands swift right there. Next, next slide. I also went up to the Museum for the Blind in Madrid, Spain, where you could touch stuff. It was a way for blind people to understand architecture. It was a really great experience. Um, they also, I was there during the end of the night and they turned the lights out on me. I mean, really. And they all left. It was really funny. Um, I can't see at night, so yeah. Um, next slide. All right, so a super popular thing was uh, postcards. Um, who doesn't like a postcard? Uh, it's like kind of the anti social media. And so this was a lot of fun. Uh, I ended up sending out. Over 60, next slide. Um, over 60 to about 17 states. This was all within a couple of days. And uh, yeah, it's fun. This was in South, uh, Austin, Texas. It's great to, I'm always nervous when I send out postcards, so it's great to get these on Facebook. So a couple of people posted on Facebook, another person on Twitter. Um, Lisa, if she's here, I know she's a social media person. Bill Curtis as well, you guys are here. I don't think you are. Uh, South by Southwest. So another thing that happened was I posted a comment on Instagram and you know a couple of days later uh, anonymously um, I was given two platinum badges uh, to the conference 
and which is over a $3,000 value. It allows me to have a friend with me to drive me around. And uh, just because I was posting about my uh, experience and what I'm doing uh, on Instagram. And so, and then you see here, this is the picture of the cane. I started to realize when you take a picture with a flash, it's, it looks, looks cool. At least I think so. <laughs> I don't think it's cool. OK. So Facebook groups. How are we doing on time? All right. How y'all doing? All right, so Facebook groups. Facebook groups I have found to be excellent. Um, they make a rare disease feel not so rare. And I was able to ask questions about my condition. And it's amazing all the responses I, I've gotten from various questions. And on this Facebook group, uh, I found this woman who was selling these t-shirts. And what I like to do going around is uh, meet people, interview them, blog about them, and just learn. For me, it's learning and then being able to educate going forward. Uh, to write something out and for people to read and so forth. She uh, has all these kinds of fun t-shirts and so I had people vote on it and the one that won, it's, it's right there, it doesn't help, which is very true. You know, when you go to shake my hand, you know, do it like in my face. I'll be, it's, very, it's much easier for me to see. Um, but uh, yeah, so next slide. Another, so something else here, I crowdsource uh, right before the final four. Um, I, I crowdsourced my hat. The winning hat was the up left one. But um, uh, a rule of thumb here is uh, don't do this uh, 45 minutes before they close because you'll end up buying all of them, like me, because um, you don't know which one wins. But thank goodness for the bookstore, I was able to take them all back except for the one that won. Yes, planning. Um, yeah, you, speaking of planning, you should plan for the special days. You know, the 4th of July, May, uh, May the 4th be with you, and so forth. Um, but being on the run, it was always like, oh, there's this day, I should do something. And so here's one example. I did an April Fool's. I didn't put the comments out, but yeah. Uh, next. Uh, and then a missed opportunity picture. This was last night. Should have been my May the 4th picture. May the 4th be with you. Anyone? Life Lifesaver? All right. Same missed opportunity. Instagram. Uh, talk about my Instagram. So for me, it was a struggle. I didn't know what to do with it. A picture a day. Um, I was always worried about posting on Instagram and posting the same picture on Facebook. I don't know. For me, I was having a hard time with it. Um, and yeah, next. So I have like a whole variety of stuff, uh, just random pictures, and I felt like there was no theme to it. Um, up there is uh, drones I saw in San Francisco. Pretty cool pic, but as you see, there's no theme. So going forward. So I was starting to think about my cane more and how I was using it. Um, there's a lot of upside down W's at the University of Michigan, so I was trying to correct that. It's like, dude, let's switch it around, paint it red. All right, and then so I started, I'm starting to develop more of a theme with my Instagram and using my canes. And uh, as you can see, let's see, so that's the Blind Museum in Spain. Uh, and this is Dubai, the, the world's tallest building. I actually lost a couple canes within like three days of my trip. Um, not lost, well, left one in the plane and left one at my friend's place in New York. And I had to go buy some in LA and that's, that's where that is. A statue of David. This is me sitting on my cane at Panera Bread. And this is West Town Mall. Okay. Um, next slide, please. Okay, um, so real quick. Let's see, we, uh, hashtags, you see a lot of hashtags on Instagram. And this is just a real quick example of why you use, use those hashtags. So there, this person, so the last uh, person who liked my photo, the only reason that person found it was through a hashtag, because I don't know who that person is, and then they started following me. It was a way, hashtags are used as a way to gain a following. So that's a quick tip. Um, next. 
This is another quick tip for you. Um, if, you, if, you if it's the weekend and you want to get creative, you can check out this blog. Instagram has this hashtag project every week. And they challenge you to take these certain kind of pictures, um, whether it's shadows or maybe something colorful. I really recommend you check that out. Foursquare, I use it. Um, I find it simple. It's, it's something for me to look back on. Uh, there's no really campaign benefit, very few followers, but it's just kind of fun to see everywhere I've been and see all the useful tips going forward. All right. Um, Magisto, let's skip that. Uh, we have a, so this is a great, let's go back to Magisto. I was in San Francisco and it was Mother's Day and I needed something fun to do. Here, go back to Magisto. Um, and so it's a great app to, all right, are we, do we have a, never mind, we're going to skip that, sorry. Let me just say, Magisto is a great app. It will take all the pictures that you have on your phone and all the video on your phone, and it will combine it into a, a film, a video, just by itself. You don't have to do any work. So I recommend you check it out. Um, so how, how to meet people when traveling? OK. So Facebook Graph is a really, really great thing. You type in this wherever you are, or it doesn't matter where you are, uh, my friends that live in so-and-so. So you know where your friends are. If you have hundreds of friends, it's hard to keep track where they live. And then you can do, even do, when you travel, friends of friends. So you need a place to stay. You can go for friends of friends. So type that in the search box. Facebook graph search is really excellent. So I just for example, I use people that like social media breakfast and flight for sight. And you can see it, it ranks it. So Facebook thinks I want to see Katie before, I Bob, before Bob because I have more friends in common with Katie and Bob and so forth, Rowan and down. And then, who's that guy at top? I've never seen, hmm, looks familiar. It's my twin. And then, okay, so I was out and about, I think probably San Francisco, and I was like, well, it'd be cool if someone from Facebook was following me. Sure enough, there was someone from Facebook. And so I, I met with him, and we talked about Facebook and whatnot. So people who work at Facebook and like fly for sight. Next. It's time for a cat picture. That's, yeah. So, I mean, when I'm traveling, I want to meet people. I'm, you know, out, I'm lonely, you know. Um, and so this is uh, an app. With, you just killed it. You killed everything. All right. So that, yeah, Tinder. I know you all know, I don't know what you all have heard about Tinder. This thing is blowing up now. Oh, hey, right. we're talking about Tinder. What? Tinder is an excellent app to meet people. Okay? So I was just in the Detroit airport and I, for some reason, opened up Tinder. Um, Tinder is a location app that locates all the people around you that are looking to meet other people. So I just accidentally opened it up in the Detroit airport uh, and I'm passing through. And uh, the next day, I came home to a message on my Facebook page because on my Tinder profile, I have listed, you know, my campaign and what I'm doing. I'm traveling around, want to meet people. And I had this great message from a woman who really, really wanted to meet me. And it was really easy for me to hop back over to Detroit and uh, meet her and talk about vision issues. And um, so that, like, a few days later, I was back in Detroit and I, and I went to Michigan. That's where that picture was from. So next, what do we got? Next, next. And, you know, you meet great people that end up helping you out on Tinder. Me and my friend Catherine Smith down there, and she now follows me, obviously. She, I'm just saying, Tinder is fabulous. I don't know what y'all have heard, but it's just... All right, so this is skipping back to Michigan. This is the, that Tinder message led to me meeting this wonderful woman who's a professor at the University of Michigan, professor of performing arts technology. Next. Okay. All right. Dave Morin, uh, he's a guy I went to college with, um, fantastic guy, one of the first Facebook people, and he's a CEO of, of an app, a social app called Path. And I just kind of, you know, I don't know him that well, I'm very kind of passive about sort of stuff about people asking for favors. Um, and I just kind of said, hey, can you check out my Facebook page? This was like a few weeks in, and he just kind of, you know, exploded. He's like, why didn't you tell me about this earlier? And so he posted it on his wall. And it really, and my followers like increased overnight 50%. 
um, and all these suggestions, and I don't know, it's just, if, his Twitter handle is at Dave Morn. I recommend you follow, he's just a great guy, he's really smart. Um, so I don't, I need to thank him. So, and because of Dave, like, he's a San Francisco guy, and so all these San Francisco people started following me. Next person. Um, and one of those people was Jackie Cartwright. And she, she knew I was coming, I contacted her because she left a message on my wall, and uh, she knew I was coming, and she stopped at nothing to help me out, help me enjoy my time in San Francisco. As you can see, she just started tagging people. She was like, this guy is coming. Let's, let's help him out. And she's, tagging is a great way to get people involved in your post. You know, uh, yeah, a hot air balloon, that didn't happen. But ultimately, because these connections are being made, I ended up going to a Facebook conference, which is a $500 value for free. Um, and I ended up going to a museum and a symphony. All these people just hooked me up with stuff. And it was great. And uh, this is... Yeah, I don't know. It's just the human is, humans are beautiful, um, and so that's that's the exploratory me having a little more fun with my cane, and that's really how close I was to the conference. Um, yeah, that's Mr. Zuckerberg. Okay. So my coolest tweet was I was asking about drones, and uh, I got a response from a guy named Mike Walsh. He's stolen all my identity online. But great guy, he's one of the Uber investors, first ones, and I ended up seeing drones. And that's, the, yeah, next. My dumbest tweet, can anyone tell me why this is so dumb? Because he used to work for Ford. So, and I was in General Motors thinking he worked for General Motors, and I was like, hey, we're the driverless cars. <laughs> yeah, no, seriously. Crowd tweeting. Okay, so this last month we I asked for ideas where to go. All right, we'll be fine. And uh, let's see. Yeah, you can read next. So this is me bringing a tweet to the location. Next. Uh, and this is uh, I was asked to go to the Twitter headquarters. I couldn't even get in the building really. It was just I kind of signed outside. So that's me attempting to do that. Thank you, David. Dave, yeah. Next. Um, and thank you, uh, Betsy, for sending me to Crater Lake in Oregon. All right. And so that post before, I asked for, um, I asked for, uh, send me the name of the location, I'll send you a postcard. And so I was in San Francisco, Cisco, and this guy sent me, uh, the name Crater Lake because he's from Oregon, and but he gave me an address in San Francisco. I was like, well, I'll just deliver it to you, save sixty cents or whatever it is, and uh, so I did that, and he gave me a duck. Uh, yeah, next, and then he's like, is there anything you haven't done you want to do? I'm like, well, I've always wanted to go to Mirror Woods. He's like, let's go to Mirror Woods, and then we saw a phone in the woods, and I, I posted that on Facebook, and I told people to call me. <laughs> and uh, I tried it out beforehand, and it rang, and I was like, okay, we're gonna do that, post it on Facebook. So it rang a whole bunch, and so people called, but it didn't get through, something about maybe putting money in, I don't know. It was really confusing, <laughs> but that was funny. And then that night, he's like, do you wanna go to a gala? I was like, okay. And so that's me with crazy eyes, no pun intended. Big tree, okay, next. All right, we're getting there. What's next? Whoa, what is next? Well, tomorrow I'm supposed to get on a plane to go to Colorado to go to the Vision Conference. Uh, my brother is performing there as well as entertainment. Um, and uh, yeah, and then and because of my campaign, I, I, I re reached, these people noticed me. I will be speaking at Harvard Medical uh, at the Usher Syndrome International Symposium um, in a few weeks.